Jürgen, just the latest on, on Carrius, and also when you look back at sort of 10 minutes before the Champions League final, where, what are your thoughts on where you are now with that situation? Wow. Oh, nothing new about Loris, um, actual situation. And now going back to what? Ten minutes before the you know, terms. He was your number one goalkeeper before, and yeah. in a short space of time, he's gone or nearly gone. We will see that. that no, how I said, nothing decided. But that's uh, if if it happens, that's how how the things go in football. That can happen. That happens to few. As a manager, you usually don't need that much time between one game and the other game to 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 get a sack. So, um, but it's not a sack. It's only change. If it, it's like that, so, um that's football. So um, no problem with that. So again, whatever. There's nothing new to say about and. Um, Things in football change. If they change, then we speak about it. Before that, I have nothing to say about it. Okay, um, you said some nice complimentary things about Sadio Mane. Where, how good is he at the moment? Good. I made a compliment. Uh, wh what did I say? I think you said he was up there in the elite. Oh, that's obvious. Uh, okay, that's a, that's a compliment. It's a more, a more effect. Huh? So it, uh, he's, he plays uh, as it is. Third season here, so um, constantly improved. We knew what that we will get a good player. We really we knew that when we when we signed him from Southampton. Um, did we exactly know how good? I wouldn't say so. It was it's always the, you 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 sign a player and then you hope that he can do a few more steps and he did that. Um, so far so good. That's really um, very very important um, player for us. Very nice person, but that's it. Um, and that's. Uh, how all the others say they they um, have get the benefit of of all the other good players around. So, uh, but we still um, can improve. So can Sadio. But um, uh, yeah, the performance level and the consistency is um, is, is uh, quite impressive. That's true. Is there any latest on his contract situation? Yes, he has still a very long contract. That's not new, but um, yeah, but that's a fact. OK. Um, as far as Brighton coming here, um, you had two great results last season against them. But of course, they'll come on the back of that victory against Manchester United. You expect a, a different Brighton side, yeah. maybe? Well, not different. Um, I, I really don't think that we should um, compare the, the last game of last season with this game, because Brighton um, saved the league, I'm not sure, the week before, two weeks before, maybe, uh, and we had to fight our lives actually, so that makes different, and um, and that's so uh, at Brighton. That's too long ago, so I have no real idea more about that. But it's um, it's just a very good team, and I, I really respect a lot what Chris is doing there. Um, and it was not only the Man United game, um, but even in that game, when we, we used it, for, for, of course, for our analysis, it was impressive. Eh? It was really good. Very good organised, um, on point. Of course, United was unlucky in one, two, three situations. That's clear. They had their chances to 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 get a much better result than they had at the end. But um, I have a lot of respect for that, and so we are warned. So that uh, we will be. We have to be awake. We have to be one of the spot on. So we, we said that last week. So many positivity around here in the moment, and I like that. But. At least we have to be we have to be awake and we have to we have to really to be ready for work and that's what we have to be in that game. So um, it's it's good, but we play a very good Brighton side, um, you know, obviously um, with a very good result um, last week. So it's all how it should be. Um, our crowd hopefully is on their toes, uh, will be on, the to on their toes, and so that's then a good, create a good atmosphere. We try our best to, to do that with the football we play, um, and we have to deliver a proper fight, and that's what we want. Just to come back to Sadio, if I may, because obviously he's got three in his, in his first two games, just in terms of understanding how he fits into the way that your footballing philosophy works, and you mentioned about him improving, so how can he improve? What would he have to do to be better? Yeah, how, how, how we all, consistency is uh, that's the main thing. It's, uh, we don't have to talk about consistency because both games were good, but in general, uh, dealing with difficult situations, stuff like that, um, uh, that's all what, what we have to do, uh, what we have to work on. There's no difference to, uh, with Stadio. So um, uh, that's clear. Um, yeah, 
He's a footballer, so he has um, as well um, things where he can improve much more. Would I say he can be quicker? No, don't think so. Could his left foot a bit better? Yes, but not much. Right foot, probably not. Um, heading, it's then technically understanding. So many things are there, but it's not. I don't even look for them. So he says a player, and we wanted him as a, uh, because of the skills he had. And I really said he already is more consistent than he was in the past. So if, I, if he can um, keep that, then it's all good. Then it's uh, yeah, an absolute dream for each coach. We've spoken off about changes that you've made to your starting lineups since you've been here. So it's only fair that we talk about the fact that you've had the same team for the past two going. So it's the potential for the <laughs> so same again. It's a longer series in 89. <laughs> yeah. How's it looking as well as far as team, your team's concerned? And, and any news on Dejan or are you tempted to change things? We will see. I think that's a, that's always a, must be always an option that we have we had enough we had enough sessions. So um, I don't think that it makes sense to to only to stick to a team only because we won. That's the most important thing. I don't, but um, we have quality in the squad, and if um, there can, can be different reasons to change the lineup, so that's possible, of course. Um, what was the, the other idea? No, nothing. Yeah, he's coming closer. So, um, but he's not really around. Um, team training in the moment. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing today because we had the day before the game. So um, he will not be involved in that game. I'm pretty sure no chance for the Leicester game. And then hopefully after the international break, uh, he will be ready to go. That would be nice. That was actually the target from from the first day when he was in and we knew about his problems. And we always thought, OK, if we can give him that time, if he come through that time, then uh, that would be cool. Okay. Thank you. Jürgen, what's excited you most about what you've seen from, from your team so far and, and how quickly you know, you've hit the ground running? And it's never easy to do start of the season and particularly maybe in, in a World Cup year. Yeah, but OK, that's, uh, it was for all teams in, in a world of football with um, players at the World Cup. Um, it was a difficult pre-season because they came back. I, I would really say if we all would moan then we have to uh, but then we have to give um, I don't know what to uh, Maurizio Pochettino because he had nine players or so in the, in the semis and they did they win as well both right so, yeah so that's and they had a really difficult pre-season we had a ours was okay a few of our players came a bit more earlier in so we had um, with the main group three weeks together pre-season so that's that's okay and needs to be okay. We don't get a lot more in the, in the future as well. Um, yeah, and then we we, we we had good we had good games, we had difficult games in during that preseason. But uh, we performed quite well out of full training, so that helped to give us a kind of a of a sign how it how it could be. But then of course the Premier League is completely different. But um, but I'm not. Excited about it. I'm, I, I really think that we have to expect things like that from us. I know people expect that on the one hand side, but um, um, on the other side, we have to, we have to expect it. So it's that can ever, anything can happen. So in in a football game, but we need to expect from ourselves that we really perform on at least the level we showed so far. And I said it a long time ago and a few times already. Um, if that would be the best football we can play, that would be really poor because then you start brilliant and you we have to develop, we have to improve, and um, I, I'm pretty sure we can, but. There are a lot of lot of games to play, and uh, in different competitions, and we need to be ready for each single of that. And um, yeah, that's actually what's very important in the moment. Thank God, I only have to think about Brighton and no other game, and um, that's difficult enough. So let's go for that. Some serious reinforcements in your midfield this season, and you're well blessed in terms of numbers and quality. And I think a lot of Liverpool fans are maybe thinking, given James Milner's age, that he's going to be playing less and less, possibly. But when he plays, you just can't leave him out, can you? Because he's, he's such a, an influential player for you. Oh, they are all influential. I don't think that's obvious. You ask me about Millie and it sounds if I say, but we, 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 they are all influential. All they, 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 when they play. Maybe he's maturing with age, getting better. Yes, he's a very. I didn't work together with him. Since I worked together with him, I was always, I was always fine. Um, that was always good. 
And yes, he started in different positions. We played different systems. Then he played fullback, now we all know. Uh, now he plays in a, in, a, in, a, in a midfield role. But we have, they're all our players are influential on that. That's how it should be. And for Mili, is age for sure no issue. He's, a, he's an absolutely natural, skilled uh, boy, but he really is um, such a sports guy, so he can do probably, probably each kind of sports he tries, he's good in, so that an age is no problem. 30, anyway, in all parts of life, with 32, if you are in, in, a, in any company in the world, they tell you, hey, wait a few years until you, you can get a real job. And in football, it sounds like they're already close to retirement, but it's not too far away from the, but there are players they can play until 36, 37, 30, even 38, and of, because of his physical abilities, I'm pretty sure he's one of them. If he's lucky enough with injuries, what I wish him. So, it's not, the, the end is not to see. So, and his desire to improve is, is exceptional. So, very, very good player, and if it's the best moment of his career, maybe I should better ask him um, than me, because he was always part of his career, and I wasn't. Hey, I know it's early days yet, but two, two clean sheets in, in your first two games. Um, is that a, an indication of how well the team is operating as a unit? It's always like this, yes. It's always like this. Um, you are all our men and, and uh, women that tells me when, when we concede goals that uh, with our defence and you talk then or talked a lot about the centre halves and stuff like that that they are responsible for that or the goalkeeper or whatever. But defending is always a team thing. Was always like this. Will ever be like that. Um, so I really think in, in a, in a we, we, we did well since not only this season since a longer period already we defend well it always takes longer until you get that as well but that's not too important it's more important that it that it happens and that's the truth we we are an offensive orientated team based on uh, the best possible organization and that means that your organization is um, yeah, important in offensive uh, things, but in defensive things uh, as very much as well. And so that's what we are constantly working on, to be honest. It's never that we don't talk about uh, whatever game we go in. It's always probably rather 60 or 70 percent that we talk about our defensive things to do and um, to, to create that stability, what you need to, to do then a few offensive things. That's, that's how it is and that we improved in that, like step by step, and it always needs to stay like this, it's with set pieces a little bit longer ago and then defending in a moment, so we have to, that's, we work together the whole week, so it should get better, that's the truth and um, um, obviously it, 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 it got better, that's, that's good. In this season, twice a clean sheet. If, if we have at the end of the season only twice a clean sheet, nobody's really happy about that. So we have to keep going. Huh? Yes, Just how happy have you been with how Alison has settled in? I know he's probably not been tested for a lot. Do you really think? Tested? Um, I saw situations where I was really tested. Um, that's first and foremost, that was good. And he's, he settled in from the first second. It, was, it felt really familiar. That's, that's the truth. But um, yeah, good player, very good player. Uh, and really, not only goalkeeper, but player as well. So that's uh, quite cool. And uh, gives us uh, a few more opportunities. That's cool as well. Uh, I like that. And um, yeah, hopefully, it stays like that. So that's exactly how it is. It, it looks all good. It's, it's, we have this kind of Brazilian group now. So plus Spanish with Alberto, so that I think that helps them as well. Even when Alison's English is quite good, um, as for news is so that's that's really that's cool. But um, no, very happy so far. Hopefully it stays like this. Don't squeeze it. Oh, they, they don't <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.